Well, it's been a bit of a mixed month, I'll be honest. There's things about this vacuum cleaner here that are lovely. There's also things about it that are utterly horrible. And it hasn't escaped without breaking something. As you can see, the cable is not inside the machine. Let's have a look at what's happened. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. In this August that we find ourselves in, how are you today? Obviously, this is the second video of mine that you are seeing because I am doing a one-off for my mother. Mainly because I want to give the Amazon Basics a bit of a use. And it seemed like an ideal top-notch opportunity to give it to mum and say use it. Whilst I refurbish her Mina, which needs doing anyway. So this is the proper one, this is my one. We have the Hoover Lifetime, which has, it's been lovely to use. It's really small, really nimble. It, it follows you around like a little puppy dog. It's very nice. Let's just go through things. This floor tool is really, really lovely. It's a little bit linted up. On the hard floors, it's great. It just glides along nicely. On the carpet that we have, it sticks itself down nicely. It's, it, it's been very pleasant, I'll be honest. It's a bit dusty. The dust has started to flick up and build up around the side. And it's obviously picked up something damp because there's something there. There's also some lint around the wheels. If you follow me on Instagram, Instagram, you will have seen the video that I put up. We moved the bedrooms around last week. So this got all of the dirt from under the beds, but right the way through everything. The small tools, well, I'll be honest, I haven't used them very much. They are pretty useless. I, when I, I tried to do our sofa underneath the sofa with the crevice, tool that I've just thrown across the room and it's blooming awful. Just, I, I gave up. That is a terrible little crevice tool. This is an even more terrible dusting brush because, and I might show you in a second, when you turn it on it sucks the brushes in. So you end up, it's terrible, it's awful. Again, didn't use it. And the other problem with the whole thing is, although I don't actually have anything to hand to demonstrate this fact is that the tools aren't true 32 millimeter. I've already got a dusting brush out the shed, and they they don't grip on. They just sit and wobble around. It's not true, or is it true? It's a different angle. 32 millimeter tools. Wands are lovely. Nothing really is worrying there. The hose is fine. It's a, a hose. Yeah, it has been quite pleasant. Let's have a look at the machine itself and how that has coped. And as you can tell, it's not fantastic. That's the main bit of excitement is that it was Saturday. I vacuumed thoroughly. And on that Saturday, when I had finished, I went to retract the cable. And it decided that it doesn't really want to live in the machine anymore. Even if I push it, it doesn't. It pulls out, but it's broken. It has broken its cord rewind, although luckily, whether he knew this might happen, Mr. Ibasiak sent me, I've got a spare motor and a spare cord reel from another one of these. So we should be attempting to fit that maybe in this video, maybe not. I, I, it depends on how long this goes on for, but, I do have a new part, which I should be fitting to this to make it work better. We'll see. I've, I've, I reckon. There we go. Look, well, something's not right. I reckon the springs. Oh, there we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, you didn't do that on Saturday. I reckon the spring's untensioned itself. I've been very careful. The, the cable hasn't been ripped right out. It's not been held tight. It's not right though. It's very slow. So, well, well, we will have a look at that anyway. But I have been true to my word and have not opened this lid or checked this filter. 
so as you know I swapped the two around so the white one was underneath and actually it's done all right there's not there's a little bit of dust on there but that's not bad although crikey I don't know if you can be able to see this it would turn me light on my camera there is quite a lot of dust come through there I haven't fitted the new HEPA type bags HEPA fleece bags that I got from Dennis at Auto back in the end because it probably wouldn't have had the use to really make much difference in our house we don't have pets and Amy runs the Becker around so it wouldn't have been a true two week four week test the other thing that happened is this trim has the glue has snapped off. You can see the remains of the glue. It's there. I picked it up and it did that. So that's a little bit annoying. Let's have a look under the hood. And it's okay under the top. Let's remove the bag, which is quite full. Actually, that's quite full, we probably won't tear it open because you don't watch me for that. Let's seal the bag up, ah, that way, there we go, so that's not bad, that's got some dirt in it, I'll be honest, nothing visible, I mean that side's a bit browner than the front, obviously where it's been pulling at the motor, and there is a little bit of fluff on the filter and in fact quite a bit of dirt so it, it, it has been pulling stuff through obviously there's a skid mark from when we first used it yes it, it's not bad it's done all right but yeah not a truly spotless job i am afraid and i don't think i can shut i don't i can shut that that's fine then we won't fit it in the bag we'll put that in there for now oh yeah the Hoover Lifetime, it's not even too scratched up, considering I've bounced it over the stair gates. It is nice. I I really do now want to get an Ariane. Was it the Ariane or the Telios? Whichever one was first of this design with a nicer motor, not the Antec Screamer that is in it, because my god, this is loud. This is almost terrible loud. I'll be honest, this is the one thing that ruins this machine, is the noise. Oh, the noise is terrible. It is awful. Horrible, horrible noise. But the machine itself is nice. The design is nice. I can see why Hoover ran with this design for so long. It is a very smart looking thing. But what are we going to replace it with? Well, you might like this. Because I had a thought once I'd refurbished it there's a clue and again because I, I, I don't like them I'll be honest I thought well I'd best use one for a month so it has been waiting ever so patiently for its turn and I fixed the switch last night I changed the switch it was slightly sticky yes I'm going to use the Dyson DC 11 all floors for a month and see if I can change my opinion on them because I'm not keen I'll be honest so that makes this video really easy to do because this is as it was pretty much after the refer video apart from you may remember that I was moaning about the floor head not pivoting very well turns out I fitted this part upside down because that spins freely I got it the wrong way up. You can see the little plastic pock marks from where I was trying to see if I could bend it back. It was on upside down. So that will now work a lot nicer. It still has the dirt that we left in it after using it briefly. So there isn't really much more to say. I mean, I'll, I'll turn it on and in fact, no, I, I, I do know what we'll do. We'll do that in a minute, but I won't spoil the fight now. And what I have done is Mr. AG123, Mr. George Lucas, sent me 
a hard floor tool, which I was supposed to refurbish before this video, but haven't. So it is a little bit dirty, but I don't really care about that because it's going to get used. Because obviously this floor head is going to be pretty annoying for the laminate and the lino. So I have a hard floor tool from a different generation Dyson. However, it does fit. You just got to get the taper right. Then once it goes in, look, that fits all right. So if I crack the tools open, come on, you sod. Look, I can use. Obviously, it's rubbish on the carpet, but I have a nice hard floor tool to use, which is lovely. Very lovely indeed. So thank you, George, that will save my sanity. It doesn't clip onto the machine though. So if I wrap it up, because I may not wrap the machine up, I might just leave it parked. I'll just leave it in the end of the wand. And yeah, basically. Oh, the that's this will prove a point. The dusting brush, the official Dyson DCM dusting brush, doesn't like sitting in its holder. And that means that it is in the back of the car somewhere. So I need to go and find that and try not lose that over the month. But we have the tools as they were. The whole thing is ready to go. So let's have a look at. I don't even know where the screws are for this thing. Oh, there they are. Where's the other one? There should be more screws than this. It is there. Let's have a look and see if we can get the top off of this Ariane lifetime and get the cord reel changed and we'll see what it's like inside. Because this is going to be boxed away now. I'm not going to use it anymore. I might even sell it. I haven't quite decided yet. But if I can get the cord reel fitted using this screwdriver which is ever so slightly the wrong size. Ah, that's interesting. That that's how you take the door off. There we go. There's the back door off. We have some other screws. Oh, this one's rusty, though. Probably where it's been stored in the warehouse before they were all bought. Uh, oh, I'm not too fussed about that. Bog standard Hoover screws. Look, they're the same size, shape, and thread that we use oh, back to the turbo power they were used I think this is all of them we'll soon find out I don't know if there's one down the middle we'll have a look in a second god this screwdriver is not quite right but I took me on the flip of one home it's sat in my toolbox there is one down here because I'm an idiot oh my phone's just come to say hello hello phone Ah, ooh, Viking. <laughs> Under there's a bit dusty. Gosh. <laughs> ah. Um, I, I didn't check this before we used it to see if it had ever been used. I was, I was sort of assuming it had a little bit. Um, do I need to take the pedals off? Take a wheel off though. Oh gosh, how do we get into this? I might just stop doing this now and leave it for another day, maybe. No, there's got to be a way. I reckon these come off. <coughs> ah, they do. Aha! Ah, yes, there's the other screws. Oh, this live has seen a lot of use and has been cleaned up. Oh, this is actually pretty terrible. I, I, I cannot tell you either way, I'm afraid. Because I didn't check this before. <sighs> probably this, that pre-motor fuel. So I would say it probably was like it before. Mainly because the dust box isn't that dirty. Ah, here we go. Ooh, this is interesting. Christ. Hang on, let's have a look at this. Look in here. I think this has been used more than the person who sold the pallet 
let on, although obviously when he sold the pallet it was sold as returns, so somebody may have used it a lot and returned it for reasons that no one knows, but the motor is in good order. This might get a little refurb, you know, but whew, look at that. Look at all that dust. Look, here's the suppressor. One of those. Yes, that is very used. But hey ho, let's change that. Which I think just lifts up. It does look. It just lifts up nicely. Now I'm going to take the lead off of this one. So here we have the other identical cassette. 2000, the 5th of 2000. What's this one? This is the 2nd of 2001. So they are different size parts. And if I hold them the same way, the red wire goes this side and the blue wire goes this side. And then the whole thing just drops back in. This is going to be a nice simple fix. I, like, I just want to do this now just so that I can bin it basically. Although I might keep the cable because that is quite a handy flat cable for something else. So I should be keeping the cable. We may get a refurb thread out of this. I'll be honest, I mean, I've got a slightly used working motor. But it doesn't need the motor, the motor is okay. It is just all that dust, man. Look at that. I don't know, I haven't decided, I'll be completely honest. Oh, I haven't even put this back in. If I'm going to keep it or not. Because it is nice, but... I don't know, it's, it's not something that I would connect. So it might, you might see it on eBay, you might not, because I might just sell it as is to like, on Facebook, just as a hoover. Or I might keep it, I, don't, I, I just don't know, I'll be honest. I'm not going to clean it up now, it's going to go back in its box for now at the very least. With all the other bags, I mean, I could run it for another month after it's been cleaned up, but quite frankly I, I haven't got time for that. We've got many other vacuums that need to be run for a month, haven't we? I can't go running everything twice just to see what happens. I don't even have to do these screws back up mega tight because I don't want to strip me screwdriver head on. And that can't be for this use because that would be terrible. But I don't remember seeing that much dust down there. But then there is a fair bit of dust on here. But sure, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> we all care. That's why we're watching this. Isn't it? Oh, wow, there, there, there's a screw under here as well, isn't there? There it is. I'll just put a lot more back in so it doesn't rattle around. And yeah, if I do keep it long enough to do a full ball strip down and refurb thread, it doesn't really matter that all of these are loose, does it? Does that one go in here? Ah, it did, but on this, hang on, I'm about to be very silly. Very silly indeed. Whoopsie, whoopsie. Two black ones to go there. Right, before we go too far, we best fit the cord rewind and check that it still works. I'm going to fit it now. Caught the button 
underneath everything. That's the button. I think it's actually pushed up a little bit. Let me sort this out. Hang on. Well, that was an annoying fiddly job. And the upside is I can't put the last screw back in that sits under this pedal because to get the pedal to sit properly, I had to have fit the pedal first so it sit over the top of the cord reel thing. So slightly annoying. But there we go. We're going to put the blanking plate that covers all of the gubbins for the optional or on the higher models adjustable controls. Just do the last screw up. But I haven't even thought about the power switch. <laughs> I don't care at the minute. We'll just fit it. It's too hot to faff around as long as it fits and doesn't get lost. I don't care really. Not now. That is working. Sodgy. I do have a screw left over. I'm just going to fit it in there. And I hope it gets clamped down by the next part that's fitted. Just put the bag seal, bag door seal on. There we go. We'll fit the bag door. Put the clamp on for the bag door. And it's a very long screw. Oh, I've missed a screw somewhere. Hang on. Where have I missed that from? There. Yes, yeah, sod. Let's put you in now while it's easier. Go. Do. I'm not aiming for perfection on this. Just get it together enough so all the bits don't get lost and it can go in its box. And be a project, I think, for another day because that is so dirty in there. I'm a little bit surprised. Somebody's obviously gone to a great length to clean up the outside. I, mean, I know it wasn't Ibasic Act. These are this is pallet fresh. So obviously the the people who returned it to Hoover, who returned it to the store. Someone's gone to a lot of effort to make it look clean and tidy, haven't they? I wonder what my Turbo Master looks like. I think that was brand new though, These, this is used. But hey ho, we now have the new vacuum to use. And I wonder what we can christen it with. Well, I have here some of the dirt, not all of it just some of it from the lifetime bag we'll start off with the big chunks let's leave try and leave this in shot so you can roughly see it The reason I've done this is to show you why I'm not a massive fan of the Dyson DC-11. It clogs up so easily, either here where it comes out or as it enters the bin. I mean, obviously I'm picking up quite big chunky stuff so it's slightly to be expected. I can just push it down there a little bit just to finish off this video. It doesn't fill the bin evenly, unless you're vacuuming up fine dust it all catches and it's just not very intuitive this should work again now yeah, put the head on You hear that overspin? That overspin is this being clogged up as well. So all the suction is being diverted to the turbine rather than a little bit of it going off and coming out to here. So yeah, I, this isn't the machine to do big mess tests on, although I would love to see 
Roger give it a go because I like his best tests. Oh, right, let's pick up the rest of the big chunks and the final cleanup. <laughs> will be fine for daily use why won't you dock it will be fine for daily use but no big messy pickups with it at all but while I do that I want to show you the side mode. yes this is quite full mister and this is why the max line on Dyson is always just a little bit pointless I know there's a certain youtuber who basically calls people who go over the backslide scum and is very rude but look from this side there's loads of room that side well it's clogged itself up three times yeah this is my reservations about the DC-11 so I'll see if I change my mind through not picking up huge amounts of dirt admittedly just general vacuuming and see if my opinion of the thing improves. However, for now, with sceptical concern, I thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you soon. Bye-bye.